girl i got something for you listen y'all remember how i told y'all that we went on a four to five day trip using a carry-on only avoiding paying all that money for check bags i did it i'm about to teach you how to do it this comes from an overpacker if you really want to learn how to do this thing stay with me i'm about to bless you all right, let's go ahead and get into this bag. This bag is made by London Fog and it is black and it is trimmed in rose gold. But for the ladies that are all into the details, you're, you can't go wrong with this bag. And I bought it right at the maximum dimensions accepted by most ma major airlines. The dimensions are 20 and a half inches tall, 14 by five inches wide and eight inches Deep. This includes the wheels. So like I said, it's good for all of your major carriers. It has the 360 degree spin technology. It's on eight wheels and it has the telescopic handle that is very, very, very sturdy. Once you open the bag, it has a deep compartment and it also has an expandable compartment. I also bought this bag because I love the fact that these bags come with extra storage where you can get to things more easily in the airport so you don't have to go into the major compartments. This bag also has an attached bag for your liquids through TSA. And although I have not used it yet because I have my own, I thought that was a great touch. So if you are interested in this bag, I will leave the link below. It pays for itself with one trip one trip or not um, checking your bags and paying that fee you have you a good expandable bag let's get into this pack with me so in front of me i have about four to five days of clothing cosmetics hand not handbags fanny packs all that good jobs all right so i have y'all in an aerial view so y'all can see what i have going on here but what i have packed is three going out outfits. So in case we want to shake a leg or do a little something, something like that, we have three of those outfits. I have one, two, three, four, five daytime outfits. I also have, just in case the weather is crazy and it gets a little cooler, I have an outfit for that. And I'm also going to wear an outfit down there that's suitable for when it's cooler. I have three bathing suits and cover-ups right here and right here. I have two sets of pajamas. I have my makeup bag. I have my underwear and bras tucked into my fanny pack. I am a big fan of fanny packs when I'm on vacation. They're in trend, thank God they are because I was gonna wear it anyway. But put, put stuff in stuff, that's gonna save you a lot of space. This is a bag that usually does not go in the carry-on because I carry this in my backpack because it has all of my TSA approved liquids and gels in it. I have a pair of sandals that goes with all of my outfits. This one's as well. They can go with any outfit, swim shoes, and my real toiletry bag. So let's go ahead and get into packing this bag. I do the military um, roll method, so that works out better for me. And I am not a small girl. I am a size 12 to 14 in women's, so we're not dealing with a size two. But let's go ahead and get into packing.
so there you have it you see that i packed everything in this one bag i know you saw a lot going on but the more you do it the more you'll get used to it and you'll find little um tips tips and tricks but if you saw that little like peach colored bag that i have that created a lot of bulk for me but it's because i have the space so i put all of my swimwear in that bag usually my swimwear goes rolled up like everything else and we would have had a ton more space but since i had the space available i went ahead and put it in the bag and just laid the bag in there and as well like i said this tsa bag with all my liquids in it usually does not go in this bag but i put it in here so in case you're a person that does not carry a backpack like i do as my personal item you know that it will fit but usually this goes in here with my chargers phone chargers camera chargers camera batteries all of that good stuff wallet my extra pocketbook my real pocketbook goes in here because it all qualifies as your personal item when you put it in a backpack and just put it on your back but yeah here you have it and i did not even use the extender for this trip i probably could have gotten four more outfits in here easily no problem at all but yeah if you have any questions you let me know